New tonight, the community coming together for a vigil to honor the latest person found dead in a Sherwood neighborhood where police say it's uncommon to see crimes like this. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us for Fox 16 News at 9. I'm Donna Terrell. Tonight, dozens of people were there. Our Alexis Wainwright was among them and joins us now. Alexis, this has just been heartbreaking for so many people. Yeah, Donna, it's been a very heartbreaking story. Now, we first reported on this last week when police say they found Braylon Stone in a van. Now, tonight, many of the people I talk with here in the community say they know Braylon as a transgender person on social media who goes by the name of Brayla Stone. Now, tonight and previously when we talked with the family, they asked that we continue to call him Brayla Stone. She should still be among us. Braylon was a... Uh outgoing person. He lived his life to the fullest. He's real sweet. Family using words to describe Braylon Stone. He was the light to my life. I'm such a laid back person. He just brought that spark, you know, that get up. He was a family oriented person. Like he loved his family. Sherwood police say the 17 year old was found dead in a van along a popular walking trail along Gap Creek Drive last week. And as time slowly passes, the memories live on. He took us to the movies and out to eat. That was one of my favorite memories. Cousin Rakia Holmes says Stone was the life of the party and touched so many lives. Monday, people who didn't even know Stone personally held a vigil to honor Stone's life. I want to cry just thinking about it. When I walked in, it was so many people, and we don't even know who they are, but they came to show love and support. More than 50 people packed out the First Presbyterian Church in Little Rock. When he have it, I have it. Like, everything that was his was mine. So that's really what I love about him. Like, he always thought about me. Many of them say they're hoping for justice. Police say they're still trying to figure out whether or not Stone was killed in Sherwood or left there. Even behind the social media, he was a good person, and he didn't deserve what happened to him. He should still be here. Now, police say that they are still looking for a motive in this case. They say an investigation like this is rare for them. Anyone with any information is encouraged to contact Sherwood Police directly. Reporting live in Little Rock tonight, Alexis Wainwright, Fox 16 News. Donna. All right, Alexis, thank you.